Hi and welcome to Reaper TV. In this quick video, I'm going to go through the latest update for Easy Drummer 2 from ToonTrack, some of the new features that have been added, and the way they streamlined a few of these options. So let's check out that update right now. This latest update to Easy Drummer 2, which came out yesterday, is version 2.1.2. If you want to check if you've got the latest version installed, then simply come to the menu on the right hand side, choose About Easy Drummer, and take a look in there. It'll tell you what version you have. If not, you can get to download that and install it to make sure you get all of these new updates. Now in this video, I'm going to go through a couple of the updates, the ones that I think are the most important to most people that use this as a standalone application or as part of their digital audio workstation. But there are some additional features that have been added in there if you use this to work with a real electronic drum machine and the mapping has been upgraded considerably. I'm not going to touch upon that, but it's there, and all the list of all the updates will be in the description below. So let's take a look at some of the new features that I think are noteworthy on this latest update. So first update we're going to take a look at is if we switch over to the browser, and I'm just going to choose some MIDI to place into our timeline. Not bother about what they are. One of the things we can do now is we can mute individual blocks or we can mute everything. If we right click on any of these MIDI blocks, we can just choose to mute them. And we can right click to unmute them. So one of the beauties of this is once we transfer our MIDI over from e Easy Drummer 2 into our Digital Audio Workstation, we can then mute all the various elements that are part of Easy Drummer. And then if we want to go back in at any point and edit that original setup, we can go back in and do that without the audio duplicating when it's all unmuted. So that's quite a useful little feature. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is if we switch over to the search option, we now have a velocity slider at the top. And what that allows us to do is we can choose any of the MIDI grooves, we can audition them, and then we can actually adjust the velocity, see what they sound like with harder velocity or lighter velocity, the way that the drums are actually played slightly differently from their original so let's t try that out. Let's just take this messy rock 107 BPM. We'll play that. And as you can see, that allows us then to audition that particular MIDI groove with the velocity adjusted for the entire track, which is quite useful if you want to sort of take something you think fits quite well, but you want to see what it sounds like if it was being hit in a slightly lighter fashion because the song you were doing is, doesn't re require that sort of intensity. So that's quite useful. We also now have the option to adjust the tempo of any of these MIDI grooves. So as you can see, we now have a drop down to the left hand side of the velocity slider. And if we expand that, we can now choose to view them or listen to them at half tempo, default tempo, double tempo, or we can actually adjust the timing from 4-4 four, four to 6-8 or from 6-8 to 4-4, four, four, which is quite good if you want to change the timing of the track. So let's take a listen to what they sound like with that tempo change. So let's just audition this radio rock. Let's try that out. Now one of the other cool features with this is if we change the tempo while we're auditioning it, so let's just put that to 2-3, uh, and we'll put that down onto the timeline. That now has been applied to that particular piece of audio. So if we play that back, you can see the time in is set to, in this instance, the 2-3. But if we change that, it doesn't affect what's being played in the timeline. Once we've applied it to that, that now becomes an alteration that we can go back and we can audition these at different tempos and adjust the velocity and things. But this particular version of it is locked into what we set it up as when we dragged it down onto our timeline. Now, another one of those nice little visual representations is the fact that if we take a look at what drum kit is selected, 
it also tells us exactly which version of that drum kit is selected. So you can see I'm using Easy Drummer 2 Modern with the basic kit. So if we come up and choose something different, let's just choose Made of Metal and we'll go for the Velvet Tone. You see now that it tells us not only the kit, but also which variation of that kit we currently have loaded in. So that's pretty useful if you have a lot of different kits and you want to make sure that you're using the right one. So that's quite a nice little visual add-on that makes just the whole interface just a little bit more intuitive. So there's my quick guide to the latest update version 2.1.2 of Easy Drummer 2. If you haven't downloaded it, make sure you do to get these new features. I'm sure you're going to find some of those things are really useful in your songwriting process. As I said before, all of the new update is listed below so you can see everything that's been added to this new version. If you've got any comments, questions or feedback on this video, don't forget to pop those in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add to the channel. And until next time, happy mixing.